Welcome back to the 55th part in this Python series on the Django framework and in this one we're going to carry on talking about the many-to-many -many relationship and how we're going to be able to use that to create our friends list itself. So in this video I'm going to actually show you how to use it uh, in the Django shell. So I feel like this is going to be the easiest way of me being able to sort of show you how to use it before we start implementing it into our code base because it's quite a difficult concept for a lot of people to get their head around even if they are sort of familiar with how the non-many-to-many -many relationship fields uh, work in Django so let's go and launch the uh, shell so let's do Django admin shell and then all I want to do is using this model that we defined I'm going to need to import so both the user and the friend model here. So to do the user, I'm going to do from django.contrib dot auth dot models import user. So that's the default Django user. And from uh, from home dot models import friend. So that's the name of the actual model that we defined just here. Uh, that has defined this many-to-many -many field. So that is what we're going to use to create this uh, sort of complex relationship between all our user objects. So all our user objects represent one particular person that can be logged in. And for them to be able to see all their associated friends, uh, there needs to be a, a means of connecting those two things together. So one object in our friend model is going to represent that connection between the logged in user and some other user that they're also connected to, having perhaps pressed an add friend button or something similar. That can be defined later how they actually get added. That's when we sort of start implementing this in a more real world situation in our, in our code base. But for now, I'm just going to show you the concept of adding the uh, different objects to the uh, friend model essentially creating that relationship itself. So this is the sort of core of that relationship in the sense that there's no UI that we're interested in here or how they're going to add them as a friend or anything like that or send a friend request or anything. We're just focusing on adding that relationship itself so that we have the data in our database to be able to then populate a proper friends list. The first thing that I want to do now that I've imported those two things is I want to uh, I just want to create a friend object. So an object uh, that, that is dictated by this class here. To do that I want to do uh, friend and I'm just going to say friend is equal to friend. I'm just going to instantiate the class. So this is very uh, standard Pythonic way of instantiating uh, class and so it puts an object into friend. So if we, uh, we have a look at friend there's our friend object. Now you could also use friends.objects.create to be able to create that new object just like you can with any other model in your Django models but I chose not to do that in this case because I wanted to show you a particular error that can occur if you do not choose to use .objects.create. If you just instantiate it like a normal Python class what essentially it means is that you have to save that object to the database then before you then are able to add the extra users using that many-to-many -many relationship because that create method is generally going to take care of all the stuff like that that it needs to do for you so that you don't have to do it yourself. Now here at the moment we don't have any users associated with this friend object so essentially there are there are just no friends so to be able to sort of create this relationship we want to give it two things uh, to be able to associate so we do that using add so there is an attribute here on this class called users so we want to add users to this friend object to be able to tell Django that there is a relationship there to do that I want to do friend which is the the actual object that we just instantiated as I said and that has the attribute users so friend.users dot add so we're going to add what is essentially going to be a friend and then we're just going to give it the primary key of the two different users so I need to give it two different users so that is just going to be a 
query, so I'm going to say something that returns the user object, user dot objects dot first, to so the first object in the database, and user dot object dot last. So this is going to be the two users that connect uh, with each other to become friends, or in other words, if this user logs in, then it, it should show up in their friends list that this is one of their friends. So these two things uh, should return a user object, and so this doesn't work. And the reason for this is because the Django many-to-many -many relationships, they require you to save this, this object here. So we have friend, it's been instantiated, but at this point it is stored in a variable. That variable has not yet had the, the contents of that variable stored in the database. Now Django insists on this, so we have to save the object for the first time before we're then able to add a user uh, to that many-to-many -many relationship. So to do that, I just need to do friend.save. That saves the empty object in the database. Now, if we were to try that again, so we could do uh, friend users add, and then we're going to add the two users, you can see that now works, which is really good because that means we've got that connection now established. And those two users, I can just show you those two users if you like by running these two things separately. So we've got user max, that's the username, and we've got user test3. So they're the two objects that we've just connected, or the two users I should say. Now what you can do is you can do friend.users.all, uh, so using a similar sort of uh, Django RRM manager to be able to extract the, the data from this friend object just like you would with uh, the default manager in non-many-to-many -many relationship uh, models. So for example if I just took something that is more standard Django I could say user.objects.all now that uses the objects that, or in other words the default manager so if I do user.objects, now you can see we've got a models.userManager. User manager is bespoke to this user model, but in general what you're going to find is that there's a model manager, which is just the default Django manager, associated with most of the models that you define. Now a many-to-many many -many relationship is sort of similar in the sense that you can still use that, so you can you can get objects, you can filter objects, you can get all the objects as we've just done uh, by using that that sort of field on the class. So instead of using the class itself we're going to use a particular object within that class to get through to the associated objects that we want to actually have access to. So that allows for us to have many different objects which essentially are storing different relationships between different users that gives us the ability to store many different objects in our database which have information about the relationships between many different users so in other words that creates a more complex relationship and it allows us to essentially do something like a friends list where any user can log in see their friends and connect with anyone else on the site uh, even if that user also has connections of their own. So it doesn't matter that there is that sort of additional complexity because that is what the many-to-many many -many field in Django is built for. Now in the next video we're going to use what we've just learned to be able to apply that to our actual site that we're building by making our friends list more substantial. So at the moment we have this list of simply the other, other users but we have no means of being able to connect with them. So we're going to develop that idea further in the next video.